All right, uh, let's look at an example where uh, L'Hopital's rule fails. All right, so uh, here's, uh, here's an example. All right, limit of a square root of x squared plus 1 all over x as x approaches infinity. All right, so uh, let's check to see if uh, L'Hopital's rule applies. All right, so as x approaches infinity, so you have uh, denominator is definitely going to infinity, and x is getting larger and larger. So we know that the numerator also approaches infinity. All right. So we have an infinity over infinity situation. So we can apply L'Hopital's rule. All right. So let's uh, blindly apply L'Hopital's rule. So this is going to give you, so by L'Hopital's rule, all right, uh, so you have a limit as the x approaches infinity. All right, uh, derivative of the bottom is 1. Derivative of the top, um, so if you rewrite it as, um, so this top is as, uh, quantity x squared plus 1 to the 1 half power. So if the derivative is um, 1 half, uh, keep the uh, x squared plus 1. Um, and subtract 1 from the power, so it's a negative 1 half. And then by chain rule, multiply by derivative of inside, which is 2x. All right? So we can cancel uh, 2 on the bottom, 2 on top. And if you clean it up, you're going to get this. Uh, so you have a limit as x approaches infinity. All right, and in this case, uh, one's gone. So x is, uh, sits on top. Uh, because of the negative power, uh, we know that uh, x squared plus 1 sits on the bottom. So we put uh, x squared plus 1. Then we have a 1 half power, and, and so that corresponds to uh, square root. All right. So this uh, uh, L'Hopital's rule process, uh, almost, uh, it's actually exactly the same thing as taking the reciprocal. All right, so, but you can see that as x approaches infinity, numerator goes, still goes to infinity, and the denominator still goes to infinity. So it's perfectly okay to apply L'Hopital's rule. All right. So you have a limit as x approaches infinity. All right, uh, derivative of the top is 1, and the derivative of the bottom, uh, it, we, you get exactly the same thing, right? So you're going to get uh, x over uh, square root of x squared plus 1, All right? because that's the same derivative up, up here. All right, and then if you clean it up, you get this. So you have a limit as x approaches infinity. All right, so it's a reciprocal. So I'll put the square root of uh, x squared plus 1 over x. All right, have we seen this limit? All right, so you can see that uh, it actually went uh, right back to you know, this limit, it's the same limit as the uh, original limit. So by applying uh, L'Hopital's rule twice, uh, you actually went right back to the exactly the same original limit. So you can see that the, this process will never end. All right. So when that happens, so L'Hopital's uh, rule doesn't work, so we have to do a regular method. All right, so in order to evaluate that, this is how, how we, we do it. All right, so you have a limit. We just have to do uh, uh, algebraic manipulation here. All right, so I'm going to put, uh, uh, you know, x uh, inside the square root. So it's this big square root of, all right, so you have x squared plus 1 is already in there. All right. Once x goes inside the square root, it, has, it becomes x squared. All right. Then I'll clean it up. Uh, so you have a limit 
as x approaches infinity. All right, then you can do, um, you know, split x uh, squared divided by x squared is 1. And plus, uh, you have a 1 over x squared. So as x approaches infinity, we can see that, that this guy is getting smaller and smaller to 0. So the limit is actually, the limit exists, and it's actually square root of 1, which is 1. All right? So the, the limit uh, does exist and is equal to 1 in this particular case, but the L'Hopital's rule uh, doesn't uh, get you anywhere. All right? Uh, so this is an example where L'Hopital's rule completely fails. All right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.